Alright, welcome back everybody. We were in Port Hanshan on Novaria. The reports of Geth activity here. See if we can't trace that back to Saren somehow. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Alright, so the thing about Novaria is this place, the law is not welcome here. Notice we got a really cold reception when we first arrived. Kind of lucky they didn't shoot us out of the sky before we could even land. But um, this is kind of outside of Citadel jurisdiction, right? And it's basically, you don't bother us, and we'll keep our business to ourselves all secretive over here until one of their experiments here goes berserk and then threatens the entire universe, right? And then it's everyone's problem. Of course, those laws are written for a reason. Well, they don't like the law here or anything even resembling the law, which um, if they only knew, I could really care less what they're doing here. I'm after somebody in particular. But uh, we're going to get stonewalled in a major way here, specifically for that reason is everyone here is into criminal activities. This is where the big companies come to do their illegal genetics research, weapons research, biogenetics, you know, all that kind of stuff. And they don't appreciate anyone snooping around. So uh, we can expect to find some resistance, to say the least. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. <laughs> I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, man. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Uh, no. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. I think Sterling's going to be trouble. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. And I'm sure Parasini-san just saved your life. Alright, so I guess that's the next person we need to go talk to. Alright, so just starting right here at the door, we're already getting resistance, right? I think it's gonna be like this all the way out. Don't mind me alone. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone piss in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Okay, so the security presence here is basically military. And no one coming in can have weapons, so you're essentially completely at their beck and call 
definitely running this place. Security's really, really tight. Um, obviously, hiding Gen. whatever they're doing the galaxy's here. galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Yeah, something tells me they're not going to be friendly to a Spectre. Or, like I say, any cop for that matter, right? What's this? We got a store? Huh. This one offers greetings. You are the Spectre that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for or I walk. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? I like that. Can I buy something now? Okay, I want to point something else out. Um, something that I noticed here is that if they don't respect the law here, they're outside the jurisdiction of the Citadel, um, the law is what the executive board says it is, then why do they respect the Spectres? Interesting point, right? Okay, unless the council has some interests here, which they wouldn't want exposed, they wouldn't want any attention drawn towards that whatsoever. Anyway, so we'll go back to our our docking bay. Grab Uphold's package there. Take it back to him real quick. Quick fetch him quest, but uh, really good for some reputation points more than anything. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. You're trying to make me laugh. You think I'm here to amuse you? To make funny sputtering noises when you offer an insult instead of a reward. N no. This one would never. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. If that's the best you can do, fine. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Alright, let me pretend to look at the sign right here while I change over 
video clips. All right. I think we had a couple options there. I think we could have kept the mods for ourselves, and it would have been like, I don't know, like a grenade mod or something, you know, just some random stuff. Or we could go deliver it to that mercenary ourselves. I don't remember. I don't think it results into a, in a fight with that dude. I don't I don't know, actually. Been a long time. Anyway, but uh, I'll go ahead and give him his package. I bothered to smuggle it for him. Might as well let him have it. Keep keep the jellyfish safe. <laughs> How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Uh-huh, there's our proof. Citadel Council has interests in, uh... In the Insights Company. Okay. Well, there you have it. Shows why they will at least respect the Spectre. Me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the Executive Board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He's a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. All right, fly sucker. I'll be back for you later. Hopefully. Yeah, um, okay. No, this isn't uh, a stew pot for trouble here at all, is it? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanjan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. 
I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Alright, so the council has interests here, and they agree to essentially leave them alone, right? Like I say, because of that link there, though, is the only reason we have any, any, anything here. The only reason we were even allowed to land in the first place. Sure, we're getting stonewalled every, every time we turn the corner, but at least we're allowed to be here. And we have enough authority to keep our weapons, aside from anyone else, so... That definitely says something for the council's uh, influence here. Probably on the executive board, as far as that goes. Like they say, the executive board uh, decides what is and isn't the law here. But uh, if you don't ask, we don't tell policy is a blank check for any kind of disaster they could possibly come up with. All these research companies and all these labs and no restrictions. Like he said, whatever they do is their business. That There's no oversight. There's They can do what they want. No law at all. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal <laughs> for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, I'm starting to see some patterns developing, some links between some of these folks. All right, so Saren is an investor in Binary Helix, okay? Now, when he brought the Asari Commandos to Pharos, or one particular Asari Commandos, um, that Asari Commando was traded to the Thorian, essentially, for the Cypher. The Asarian Commando got Saren the Cypher, and he left the Asari Commando for the Thorian to duplicate, make clones of, or whatever, use it for its own purposes. Probably a much stronger... Uh, guardian than the rest of the colonists and stuff, which it might have eventually enslaved to use as thralls to tend to its roots and stuff. But an Asari Commando could protect it, which is essentially what it used the Asari Commando clone for against us, right? Okay, well, in this case, these Asari Commandos may have been brought here to Peak 15 to do some research. Research on Asari physiology in a genetics lab um, might have a significant impact later uh, amongst certain 
hmm, entities within the Mass Effect universe. And I know I'm being very vague. I don't want to spoil anything. But we see some things spring from the Asari and other species that are troubling in later Mass Effects. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Raphael Vargas, Sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Geneng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Mars Gene's clotting enhancement improves speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That's the commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. I'm surprised I didn't get that last dialogue option there. Oh well. Still got the job done. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Maybe I'm not such a dull stone, huh? Isn't that what she called me? <laughs> Idiot. I win. Alright, let me talk to Laura Keen real quick. Yeah, I have I have a few insights here that are starting to develop. I'm seeing patterns. Everyone's got an interest here, and some of the stuff that you see that they could possibly be working on here is going to have an impact later, but through another source. And remember I said a lot of these, these genetic and biological medical companies might be fronts for Cerberus? Afternoon. Hmm. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm Commander Shepard of the Systems Alliance Navy. It's too late for cover-ups, Commander. Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I'm the manager of the Synthetic Insights Office. Taking a three-martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Skip to the part where you tell me what you want and what you'll give me for it. Put bluntly, the administrator demands rent kickbacks from the companies on Novaria. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. 
Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Now, interesting, you have a Turian here, manager of Synthetic Insights. You, that's where the Council's main interest or influence comes through Synthetic Insights. At least I believe that's what they said. Something along those lines. So I wonder if this is a personal buddy of that Turian Counselor. And if so, if maybe the Turian Counselor is behind this uh, attempt to get Analeas out of the way to possibly put someone else in his place. Someone more friendly to the Council so they can have more direct supervision of the goings on here or something like that. Yeah, never know. Backroom politics, but anyway. All right, so Saren is a primary investor of Binary Helix. I didn't mind kind of screwing over that dude and, and putting a plant on his stuff, a bug. I didn't mind that at all. Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas. And the Matriarch came through. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. Alright, so to take that a step further, if Saren's an investor binary helix, alright. Um Saren's already been to Pharos, we know that. So he could get the cipher, get some understanding. I guess that's how he was able to read the beacon on Eden Prime in the first place. But um we saw in those Cerberus labs on that planet some evidence that they had uh, they had some Thorian creepers and some other stuff. Kind of interesting. How did they get their hands on that? Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. What do you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. <laughs> You're bluffing. How do you rate your confidence in that? 90th percentile? Is a 10% chance of death acceptable? He ain't paying me enough to take on specters or alliance troops or whatever. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. And that's probably the only one here that gets to live. That's my guess. No, oh, there wasn't any way this was going to end peacefully, huh? I'll take that. All right, so, all right, so if if Binary Helix is, like I say, linked with Saren, right? So things that Saren has access to, the Thorian Creepers, other stuff we've come in contact with, stuff we're yet to come in contact with, and stuff, then Cerberus has its hands on all that too. And then if Saren is um, in possession of some form of Reaper tech or anything like that. Uh, 
then that just makes it even worse because that means that Cerberus would have their hands on basically anything the binary helix can get their hands on, which would be anything that Saren has an interest in, including some research into Sar Asari biotics and Asari physiology and whatever they can do with that as regards... Anyway, you see what I'm getting at? And it's... Hmm. And in that case, it also gives um, the Reapers access to all of that, too, on the same token. Who already apparently have Saren um, under their control, right? So, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a mixing pot for uh, some major drama, right? Which makes the story interesting, of course. But understanding um, the links and the, uh, and the patterns here between all these very you know these all these companies and all these groups and all these they're mentioned for a reason and if you find how they're all associated with one another you can kind of see how all this plays out how all this came to pass you know not every not half the people in the universe just decided to be rotten today type of thing or whatever you know there's an actual like i said they created a, a living breathing world here people are oh their reasons for doing what they do you know are maybe buried or whatever but uh you see a, a pattern developing. Yeah, it's just awesome, man. I, don't know. I love it. But if we can get up there to peak 15 and see exactly what's going on, apparently some trouble is brewing. And uh, just do you imagine that? Illegal research going awry. I can't believe it, you know, but... Uh, once we see what they're all involved with and stuff, um, it will also have an impact on future Mass Effects. But we can kind of see where a lot of the stuff we're going to see later. Like when we get into Mass Effect 2 and 3, you can think back onto some of these um, some of these associations and some of these dealings and some of the stuff that's going on here and, and you know the players in the game and exactly what they have to do with one another. It'll, it'll make more sense later. And... Uh, this goes all the way to the ending of Mass Effect 3. Now, of course, that's looking way, way ahead, and I'm not going to get into it, but there was a lot of complaints about it, but not paying attention to this results in not really understanding the end. But if you kind of get an idea of the of the gist of the entire story and basically what the moral of the story, then it makes a lot of sense. And this it's paying attention to these details along the way. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? If you want to fight, I'll give you one. Uh, she's gonna give me one, actually. Friggin' snipers. I remember this. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if they're both snipers or not. We need to get one of them out of the picture. We'll just throw them all up in the air, just in case. <laughs> when in doubt, singularity, everybody. Wait, what's it then? Didn't get the sniper down. Son of a bitch. Well, that might be a problem. Oh, man, got carnage, too. The carnage is a beast. It's, it's, it's basically like launching a missile. Might as well be. If you ever wondered why there weren't any big guns in Mass Effect 1, it doesn't need to be. You have Carnage. <laughs> That's what soldiers are for. Basically. And Tally. Tally can do it. Wow. The sniper's got to go. Alright, well he can't snipe while he's floating around in the air. Son of a bitch. Tougher than they look, aren't they? 500 something XP for killing one. Wow. That must have been that uh, Sterling chick. Well, I, I thought she was going to be a problem. Oh well. Too bad for her. She did, she did that to herself. That's her fault, not mine. She started it. I wouldn't have shot her in the face unless she made me, right? Believe that? Ooh. 
Mm. Nice. Honestly, I don't think he could have done anything over that ledge anyway. Whether we killed him or not, probably could just walked out of here. Alright, well. We caused a ruckus, didn't we? Reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Uh. Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Mm, what does your executive board have to say about that? I was just defending myself. If anything happened up there, which I, of course, don't know anything about. <laughs> I figure somebody had to hurt all that noise up there. Coming up here, there is a, uh, what you call a, uh, there's a dialogue glitch. Just like you have endless credits at the Citadel, you have endless um, reputation here also. Show you guys how to work that. I, I won't use Allow it, but... Me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, This month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. If your executive board loses a few million credits, it's not my problem. I have my own mission. Yes, yes. Fate of billions and all that. I couldn't possibly understand how important your work is. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Silly girl, silly girl could learn that maybe insults and strong arming aren't the way to go when you don't have anything to put on the table and you want a favor. Mm, not very smart, lady. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job. But an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. All right, here's our. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Enelaus will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well. All right, see that twenty-five renegade? We can do that as many times as we want. You just. Cycle through the dialogue just like this. I have not been contacted regarding our arrangement yet. Are things in hand? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Do you know why Benezi is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. <laughs> Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. 
Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it? I have no interest in a public spectacle. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Enelaus will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well, I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Okay, now you don't have to go through all the dialogue options. You just have to ask about Matriarch Venezia, then go to another question, and then tell him to testify, and you can just keep... Is whichever option you have available, like in this case I have the Renegade option, because I'm pretty much Renegade most of the way out. But if you had the Paragon or the Blue option uh, unlocked, you could go through that also and max your Paragon if you wanted to. It's an exploit. I, I can say. They never patched it. I mean, it's the only dialogue loop that I know of like that, but it's there. Just like there's only one sales loop where you can make unlimited credits, but it's there. I wonder if they just threw that in there for players to just get a bunch of money or just get their um, reputation up and uh, kind of like a fast track. I don't know. I still consider it an exploit, but it's there. Just figured I'd point it out. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Uh-huh. I'm gonna see if he's got any loot in his office, too. Silly reptile lizard thing. Hope there's some flies and cockroaches to snack on in prison for you for the next 50 years or whatever. Actually, he uh, somehow pissed the council off. Skimming credits, I guess. He might spend more than that. He may just disappear. Who knows? Maybe he'll pop up later. I don't remember if he uh, has an impact on the story later on. I'm not sure. Huh, well, whatever. I was going to do the right thing for uh, Paris Senior. I was going to do the right thing for her anyway, but she didn't have to sit there and say, well, I know you specters are this, and I need a favor for you. She didn't have anything to offer. I already had a garage pass from King. I didn't have to give her any... any. That was just doing the right thing for the right reason, and then she's surprised that we... Did. Well, we're not, first of all, we're not all Saren. I don't know what specters she has to compare us to. Maybe they do run around all, you know, with a big S on their chest, you know, um, strong-arming everybody and acting fast and loose with the law or whatever. Um, maybe, they, maybe that is her experience. I wonder how much experience she really has with specters, though. Period, you know, to compare us to her. If that was just an assumption based on rumor... Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Luke's Valley. The way she sounded, she really wasn't looking for a confrontation. She's like, uh, um, you have to have a pass. Please don't cause me any trouble. I'd just like to finish my shift out so I can go home. <laughs> that's how she sounded. Poor girl. She was relieved. Yeah, yeah, that's genuine. Okay, could just go on through. Please go somewhere else other than here. All right. Well, Tally is the only one with a halfway decent set of armor here. I should probably give Tally two medical interfaces, actually. All right. You know, I want to get my armor up, too. Um... 
work on armor, pistols, then lift. And that'll probably finish out whatever level we make it to here. I'm guessing around 50, 51, 52 mark at, at the most. We still have a ways to go. We still have a bunch of stuff to do. Might as well be a rocket. Seriously. Alright, well, we don't need him charging us. They're almost as bad as the Krogan. But instead of melee, it's shotguns with these guys. Really? Get him. <laughs> that that uh, destroyer is actually working for us. Where are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. What did you do here, Commander? Only what I had to. I didn't ask the Geth to attack. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming months. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the veil. What is happening out there? The same thing that happens to all species, Captain. Evolution. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose Geth, there may be an investor panic. And that is the moral to one of the messages this game gives you, is in light of potential universal apocalypse, it's the day-to-day -day things that everyone's immediately worried about. Okay, what, what this appearance of the Geth after the, all these centuries or whatever, right? The appearance of them being a legitimate threat, what that is is a wake-up call, but everyone hits the snooze button, well, we need to avoid an investor panic. Um, When all of your investors are dead and all of your buildings are burned and all of your planets are destroyed and the whole universe is wiped out, um, whether they're panicking or not is irrelevant because there, there won't be anything, including yourself, left to worry about. I mean, you, you get it? No, and people don't. And, you know, it's, it's really like that in the real world. Um, uh, thousands being slaughtered. Where? Not here? Oh, okay, well, then you worry about it. You tweet about it for, for a couple minutes, maybe an hour, and then tomorrow you forget about it and go back to, you know, whether they put enough milk in your latte or not. It, it's literally just that petty. Um... That it's not unrealistic at all, and it's a, it's a really good object lesson. Will it do any good? No. Um, if they actually got the point across, would it actually make a difference? No, because pe people aren't going to learn. They're just going to do what they do. But And that's, that's the other object lesson here, too, is that no matter how many times they see it, they would just wish it would go away. If I ignore that, then maybe it'll eventually just stop existing, and the real world isn't like that, but uh, people would like to believe that it is, I guess. Even though, yeah, whatever. Anyway, point made. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. That was kind of that conversation with that with that security guard right there was kind of it in a nutshell. What are these Geth doing here? Well, better go worry about things that aren't going to matter if the whole universe is destroyed anyway. But we'll, we'll go worry about that instead. Much easier to worry about an investor panic than it is to contemplate the uh, annihilation of the galaxy at the hands of sentient machines bent on the destruction of all living beings. You know, this type of thing, right? That's unpleasant, so we, as long as we don't think about it, then it, then it doesn't exist, right? Um, we're going to see a lot more of that, and it's all going to be put in the perspective of very real and very down-to-earth, and it's... Um, <clears throat> well, no one likes to be corrected, so whether you be a player of game of this game or whether you be a character in the game itself, or as far as the writings, no one wants to accept a truth, especially a hard, harsh truth, especially when it's ones that, when it's one that applies to you and corrects you, that points out bad behavior on your part, that points out something you're doing that um, exposes your interests as being um, um, harmful to others. 
to yourself and others, right? No, no one wants to hear that. No one wants to realize that your entire policy and your, your entire moral structure is corrupt. It's backwards, is that your priorities are completely upside down, that what you call good is evil, what you call evil is good. Nobody wants to hear that. And so you either, either have to humble yourself and accept that, and maybe make a change for the better, or keep going on and blindly um, following the same things you've been following and doing the same things you've been doing and hope that you won't eventually have to pay the consequences for it. But the bottom line is, is those things eventually always reap consequences at some point. You can delay them. You can ignore them. The consequences can be happening, and you can pretend that they're not. But it, it doesn't make them not happen. You, you see what I mean? In, in other words, what, what's that one... I, you hear me say it all the time, and I love this, is... Um, not liking the truth doesn't make it not so. I, th I think I got that from Morgan, actually, in, in Dragon Age Origins. I, I really like the way she put that. It's really simple. But uh, huge object lesson. Huge, I mean, real life lesson, I guess you could say here. And a, um, a word of warning and a good correction to everybody that you see people not heeding at all today in the real world any more than you do here in this game. It, it gets worse. I mean, obviously, Mass Effect 2 and then Mass Effect 3, the story has to escalate. The threat has to escalate. If it all ends here, then there is no point in having two more games. So we know that whenever we've dealt with whatever's going on here, um, there's more to it. And uh, they'll make that clear. It's not like you beat the bad guy and then the super boss shows up that you didn't know was there. No, the, the story progresses naturally. They, they show you the threat as it escalates and increases and just how big it is and just how, you know, the magnitude of the danger that um, everyone's in and stuff. You, you definitely get to see it here. Um... But uh, this, this particular, I guess you could say, psychology persists um, regardless of what the threat is. Regardless of what um, people are facing. It is just, the, 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 just ignoring the elephant in the middle of the room and hope, and hope that it goes away. Um, huge, huge object lesson for, for everybody. It'd be nice if people in the real world would heed it more than the people do in the game. But they don't. And that's, I guess, another object lesson. It's kind of a uh, foreshadowing of doom from Bioware, <laughs> from the writers, I guess. Is that uh, that is one psychology that's probably going to be uh, mankind's undoing at some point. Anyway, interesting. Really, really, really cool. Oh, see ya! A couple of these crates, I don't remember... I don't even remember them being here. Um, like those two that were in that tunnel. I don't remember picking those up before. I probably have at some point. I don't remember it though. Ooh, an Omni tool. Hmm. Bet you Tally can use that. Totally cool. Just everything is rank 7 now. Wait till I find a set of Titan or Mantis or Colossus armor for free somewhere. I'm checking the merchants now every once in a while. When we get back on the Normandy after we're done with Peak 15, which is where we're headed now and all that, um, hopefully the guy down in the in the bay will have oh, well, a set of Colossus armor for me would be nice. It, it, dude, if, if he's got two, I'm buying them both. I'll get one for me and Liara and then we'll be set. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be great to have some for Tally too. Uh, there's several different sets of armor that are good. Um, I don't remember if the Quarians have one that's specific to them. Like, I think the Turians have the silver back, and that's just for the Turians. I, I don't think that applies to any of the, anybody else. Let's see if we can't get a little splash damage there. Damn, lots of rocket troops. See ya. They're like giving like eight, ten thousand 10,000 credits a piece now. And it just goes up from there. Like, everything you kill from this point forth gives you 10, 15, 20,000 credits. It's beautiful. All right. I've had problems coming through this tunnel. That last tunnel that we were in with all those rocks. You get caught in there and you can't find a way out. And yeah, it can, they can they can whittle your Mako down. Especially on Insanity. They, uh, they can do some work. The Geth are set up. Um, I'm going to assume they just did this when Matriarch Venezia showed up. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that they can construct their little turrets and defenses. Damn, we're going to just talk. Just took that to the face, didn't I? I guess they can set this stuff up pretty quick. I don't remember this being here either. Cool. I'm going to take free meta gel. I don't know if I need it, but whatever. Yeah, I guess they can set this stuff up pretty pretty quick. 
machine engineers out there erecting their turrets probably in a couple minutes actually so she makes her way out here and sets up all these defenses uh, they don't want to be bothered out here obviously but uh, setting up defenses for who? I mean just us they know we're coming I guess they would get word that we're coming in fact as soon as we um, asked to land they probably got word right? huh okay never mind that kind of answers itself we can only assume That as soon as we asked about uh, Matriarch Venezia, they probably sent word immediately. Yeah, yeah, she knows we're coming. That's probably why these turrets are up and stuff. Alright, so... Now that we've established some links here between Saren, between possibly Cerberus, well, it has to be Cerberus because Cerberus has some things, has has their hands on some things, and that's what is so nice about doing those side missions and um, discovering all that stuff at those uh, secret research facilities. If I think they were being defended by Alliance turrets, Alliance turrets too, if I recall correctly. Just another added note there, but um, they had their hands on some stuff that we've come across in chasing down Saren's trail and now he's got his link with binary helix and all that and now we have the peak 15 so whatever research has gotten out of hand whatever's going on here at peak 15 we can assume that not just Saren but also Cerberus has their hands on that too um, and also we're, we're actually going to recognize if you remember if it, you can even go back and look at the things that we found at those particular research bases some of the things we found there, we're going to see here at peak 15. We're going to see what they were studying. All right, so Cerberus definitely has their hands on it, actually. I don't have to guess. I already know they do. I'm kind of asking a question already knowing the answer to it. But, um, wow, I'm just taking you straight to the face. But uh, that is that is not a good sign because if it's here, it's already left this facility. So whatever research they had, they had confined to this lab has already gone elsewhere so we can only assume that once you take the controls off of something that it becomes out of control right and uh, that's not going to bode well for us in the future but uh well we might as well go see what the threat is we know there's at least geth here obviously kind of glad we did this second this is actually one of the harder missions at least on insanity towards the end this is this can actually be brutal hopefully it won't take too many do-overs nice cryo sevens those are those are awesome I, I i can keep those rounds for the rest of the game honestly cryo sevens actually really really effective all right i see enemy dots here what do we got oh we got a krogan i just heard a krogan All right, so the Krogan marks and Geth. Wow. See, Italians shoot your own missiles then. Yep, Krogan and Geth together. Oh, Juggernaut. Okay, these dudes. That's why you want your biotics upgraded. If anyone wondered, why didn't you put points into your pistol instead? Well, this is kind of why. You want to have your stuff to the point where you can lift just about anything. Because as long as it's suspended in the air, this guy isn't shooting you dead in your face with a huge shotgun or missiles or whatever they're firing at you. That type of stuff. Because those guys can one-hit you up close. Or real close. Just like the Krogan. With their melee, they can kind of one-hit you too. This, this guy with his health regen. Completely out of control. And of course I send them out of firing range. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it's kind of unceremonious. Drop him right on the ground. I didn't do shit to this dude either, did I? Wow. Okay, I think that affects their regen a little bit. Hey, could you hit them with the biotics and not me, please? It makes it kind of hard to see. Get past these guys and find the spot where we can kind of chill and then uh we'll probably call this a day and then in the next one we will uh investigate all the goings on here 
there's kind of a fast way to get through this, and there's a slower way where you can talk to a few people and do some side stuff. I think we'll take the longer route. Uh, like I say, it'll take a little longer, but not, 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 not too much. Lots of stuff to do here. Hoping we can get a little more insight into the goings-on here and um, find a few more links between some of the players. Oh, nice shot, Tally. That's right. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Still got a Krogan. He's just a normal Krogan. That's right. Just toss him on his ass. Apparently he's stuck up there, so that's fine. Ah! Almost got him. Got him. User alert. All B-15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Well, that's not good. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Yeah, that's not good either. We'll need to get the reactors back online. I'm gonna have to do more than that. Reactors, user interface, find out what these biohazards are everywhere. Like I say, when you do all this illegal stuff, okay, just because the law's not around doesn't mean that the, that the reason the law was written doesn't still apply. Get rid of the law, law's written for a reason. <laughs> Another Cryo 7, cool. <laughs> I like this. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? <laughs> Good question. They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if they're worried about their people. They are. I think it's more than that, but uh, yeah. That's basically the gist of it. Well, if I had a second slot, I would so put on that energized weave. I believe that's the one that reduces your cooldowns and stuff. All right, so I'm going to work on armor, then pistols, then lift. Armor, pistols, lift. I'll just go back and forth like that. Although, Liara's lift is, is kind of up there. I think since my singularity's maxed out, I think I may, I may go with throw instead. Let's see if there's any loot off in the side room over here. Probably something. And then, uh, I guess before we head up that elevator, we'll probably end this. Wish you guys a good afternoon, good evening, good rest of the week, good whatever, whenever you're listening to this. And then hope you join me back for the rest of this mission. It's uh, It gets pretty good from this point forth. Say, we may not have tracked down Saren himself, but Matriarch Benezia is the next best thing. We know they're uh, definitely allied, right? Let's maybe see what a reason is for all this stuff. Like uh, Liara said, you know, it doesn't really make sense. If you want to subscribe, click that button up top. And if you want to catch the rest of this Let's Play, you can click the image in the middle. It should send you straight to the playlist. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.